A common sight on the back streets of any Afghan town, opium addicts chasing an elusive moment of relief. And it's more common here in Helmand, the source of most of the world's production of illegal opium poppies. 110,000 people, a staggering 7% of the population of the province, are addicts of opium and in its refined state, heroin. Some of the lucky ones are going through a rehabilitation programme situated in the former British headquarters. In a building at the heart of the former British base, a doctor lectures his patients on the disadvantages of using drugs. They cannot afford any of the expensive replacement treatments used in the West. Instead, they rely on persuasion and therapy. Mohamed Zahir says with the zeal of a convert that he wants to get healthy. He's used drugs for the last time. He will never smoke again. They are given a new start, celebrated with traditional Helmandi music. And social workers try to keep in contact when they leave. When they are clean, we send them back to their families. It's very important that their families look after them and monitor them. They have to find them a job to keep them busy, so they will not have a chance to become friends with addicted people again and start using drugs. This is perhaps a fitting use for the former British base. After all those years of conflict and huge expenditure, the opium harvest was higher when the British left than when they arrived. That was a significant failure. And the challenges that sent these men into addiction remain. The sad truth is that however good this programme is, most of the men who leave this programme clean from taking drugs do go back to them because of the availability of cheap heroin and unemployment and continuing insecurity in Helmand. British and other international forces may have left Helmand behind, but its problems are far from being solved. David Loyne, BBC News, in Helmand province.